In the summer of 2022, construction drawings of a new large travel Enduro with V-twin engine appeared which we were able to assign to Moto Morini. In November 2022, a few weeks after the ICMA, the first unofficial photos of the Moto Morini X Cape 1200 followed. In these photos, the large travel Enduro looks already fully developed and ready for series production. Their market launch is expected for 2023. So let's talk about it. The V-twin engine is clearly recognizable both on the construction drawings and on the photos. He gets the additional designation Evo. From 2008 there was already a travel Enduro from Moto Morini, the Gran Paso 1200. In this configuration, 118 horsepower peak power was mentioned, which was completely sufficient, but in 2023 would be too far below the performance data that has now become standard for large travel Enduros. It remains to be seen whether the X-Cape 1200 will remain at exactly the same displacement as before, which is 1187cc, or whether a few cc will be added. It doesn't matter in which configuration, so far the short-stroke engine with double overhead camshafts has always run flawlessly, drumming cleanly mechanically and with sporty revving power. After the design of the Gran Paso was a very bold one, the X-Cape 1200 will obviously look more normal modern. Without front beak, more like the new generation Honda Africa Twin. Or just like the already introduced 650 Enduro from Moto Morini, the X-Cape 649. Accordingly, the model designation X-Cape 1200 appears as logical as it is consistent. But with the V-Twin, the Moto Morini stands out from the travel Enduro mainstream. Further technical details of the Moto Morini X-Cape 1200 can be seen around the V-Twin, such as bridge frame made of steel tubes and aluminum components, an upside-down telescopic fork, two radially mounted four-piston brake calipers from Brembo at the front, an aluminum double-sided swing arm at the rear with central spring strut including bell cranks. In addition, there are wire spoke wheels, measuring 19 inches at the front and 17 inches at the rear, with standard travel enduro tires. As for the equipment, at least a BS would be mandatory. This also applies to the LED lights all around and the modern color display in the cockpit. That's it. 